Michael Faraday was perhaps the unluckiest scientist in history. Impoverished as a child without access to education, he had one stroke of good fortune, making an impression on the eminent Sir Humphrey Davy by diligently transcribing the chemist's lectures. Grateful, Davy hired the young Faraday as an assistant at the Royal Institution. Surrounded by the era's greatest electrical innovators, Faraday's dormant brilliance rapidly bloomed. From 1816 to 1821, he published a startling series of papers on chemistry and electricity that made waves throughout the scientific community. But just as Faraday entered the vanguard with groundbreaking prototypes for electric motors, Davy seemingly sabotaged his rising star out of jealousy. Years later upon Davy's death, Faraday swiftly resumed his electrical research. With just a magnet and coil of wire, he demonstrated historic electromagnetic induction, the seminal breakthrough that triggered the electrical age. Yet lacking mathematical training, Faraday turned to the younger James Clerk Maxwell to provide definitive proofs. Their fruitful collaboration directly led to Maxwell equating light with magnetism and electricity, crowning the classical unification of forces. Faraday well deserved the fame and prestige Maxwell inherited on his coattails. Had Faraday simply pursued two more years of academic study, he likely would have revolutionized physics alone, rivaling the stature of Isaac Newton himself. But eschewing material rewards, Faraday personified scientific purity, much like his German successor Heinrich Hertz, the subject of our next episode. Their selfless dedication to expanding the horizons of human knowledge manifests science at its most noble.